Hello, this is Tola from Cryfield Productions, and in this series, I'm going to be doing a uh, series called Blender Quickies for Beginners, and this is just a way to help people who are just learning animation or Blender uh, 3D animation to teach them how to navigate through Blender and understand the concept of using 3D animation or 3D models and creating 3D models. And now with this particular series or this particular lesson here, I'm going just to show you how you can use Blender's uh, modifiers to make assets pretty quick. And today we're going to try to make a chair, a dining room chair in like five minutes. So we're just going to jump right into it. Um, what we're going to do now is going to, we're going to press N to close out this side of the tool panel. We don't really need that right now. I'm going to pull this out. And now we're going to press Shift A and go to Mesh. And we're going to go to Cube. Now we're going to scroll down with the uh, middle mouse button. And I'm going to press S and Z to scale it on the axis to thin it out a little bit, make it a little bit flatter. Press 7, get a top view of what we're looking at at our model. Uh, press Tab. I will use my screencast keys, but this version of Blender 2.79 doesn't come with the screencast add-on. So that's why I'm pretty much just dictating on, on what keys I'm pressing. But we're going to press um, we're going to press Control R, and we're going to drag our mouse up so that this purple line appears in the middle of our mesh, and then left click and left click again, and we're going to go down because we want to be able to see through the model right now we can only see the top part we want to see all the way through so we can select everything underneath the uh, uh, mesh press 7 and we're going to press we're going to click on here we're going to click on this icon here and it's going to show us everything through the model as you can see we can see through the model because this is the uh, translucency or the transparency uh, aspect of Blender where you can see through your model. Press 7 again, press A on your keyboard and we're going to press C for circle select and to, to uh, make your selection or the circle bigger or smaller scroll up on your mouse wheel to or scroll down the scroll to increase the size of your uh, selection and scroll down to reduce the size and we're going to hover on this uh, circle select over where we want to select and left click on that. Left click on that also. Right click to select everything. And at this point, we've selected everything from top to bottom of the mesh. Press something again to go back to the top view. Press X and uh, from the pop up menu, click on vertices. And the reason why we did that is because we want to use the mirror modifier to um, help us mirror this model here and that's going to save, save some modeling just in general press tab and now we're going to go to the modified which is pretty much the <clears throat> meat of blender which helps us do a lot of things pretty fast and we're going to click on this uh, branch icon click on that click on modifiers with your left mouse button and we're going to go to the mirror modifier which is there right there and it automatically selects a uh, mirror mesh for us mirrors this mesh for us over to the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the um the left side of our model press 7 again to go to the top view and what we're going to do is press tab before that press activate clipping that way when we go back into from edit mode into object mode it'll connect the uh, mesh in the middle <clears throat> excuse me tab again into uh, edit mode and we're going to press control R again and this and with this selection here this is going to put our cut in the middle of our mesh now to increase the number of cuts we want to see uh, in our model we're going to scroll up once and then that's going to, the more you scroll up on your mouse wheel, it'll increase the number of cuts that it will apply to your mesh. 
and we don't only want two so we're going to scroll down until we get two purple lines here and click on that and click on it again just to verify your selection and we're going to press S on our keyboard and we're going to press Y because we want it to scale up up on on the model press Y and that's going to scale it up on the model for us so, so we can just automatically move it and make it wider because we want to put our chairs in this area here and we're going to press A to deselect everything then press control R again but this time we want the uh, we want our cuts to be along this line here so in order to do that when you first press control R it's going to give us this cut across to make it go up and down um, along our mesh we're going to drag our, our mouse our uh, cursor up uh, left click and just drag it over and what we've done here is we've uh, chosen where our legs are going to be and what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, we're going to go into face select so go down here to your uh, selection here and press this icon and I'll turn it into faces and we're going to left click here hold down shift left click here also and that's going this is going to be the legs of our chair right here and what we're going to do now is we're going to press E for extrude and then left click and E again and left click and we're going to click on this blue uh, z-axis hold down left mouse button and just drag it straight down and those are our legs so we've already made the legs of our model in like like two minutes which is good it saves time and what we're going to do now is we're going to left click on that hold down shift well actually let's not do that just yet so let's work on our legs first so we want our legs to be a little bit longer I guess than this or I guess this is just fine but we want to add some more cuts to the legs we want the legs to be somewhat curved not just straight it's, it's a table or a chair I mean not a stool so we're going to press we're going to have our uh, cursor over this area and press control R and then scroll up two times to give us three uh, loop cuts and left click left click again to confirm our selection we're going to do the same thing to the front of our mouse over this section of the model. Control R again. One, two, on our middle mouse button, scroll up twice. Left click, left click again, and then to confirm our selection, we have loop cuts here too. And what we're going to do now, <coughs> excuse me, is go about back to the uh, face select. And we're going to click on the bottom of our uh, leg here. And we're going to we wanted to pull this along the y-axis to give this uh, leg a curve here and what we're going to do is just click on this icon and click on connect it using our mouse, uh, left mouse button and then hold and click down on our uh, green yellow axis or uh, green y-axis and you can see that this circle comes up because we've already activated the uh, uh, that icon at the bottom we're going to scroll up on the mouse button to give it less influence on our mouse on our legs and then release that and we're going to do the same thing to the front click on that hold down your mouse left button over the y-axis and then drag that forward also it gives us some curve to that and we're going to tab out of that we want to give this we want to give our chair some kind of smoothness applied to it we're going to go back to our modifiers, click on that, and then we're going to choose uh, subdivision surfaces, and that's going to give our our chair some smoothness to it, or some more vertices to work with. And what we're going to do, you can see that it's actually uh, pretty much made the bottom of the legs pretty round here. We want to make keep these flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Tab again. And we're going to, this one's already been chosen, 
this was, this was already still selected, so we're going to press E extrude again. Now it automatically flattens out the leg there at the bottom of the leg. Do the same thing. Let's left click on that, extrude, and it automatically flattens it out. That's what we're wanting. And we're going to press W, or not W, I've had some other uh, add ons applied to this that use a W uh, shortcut key. But we're going to go over to our left panel here. And under transform, it's right at the top on the transform, we're going to go to smooth shading. Because right now this is, this is flat, that's why you can see all the little lines inside of our model. We're going to click smooth, and that automatically smooth, gets it all smooth, and it looks a lot better. Now, what we're going to do with uh, this part of our model, the C part, is we're going to press tab. And we're not going to do the whole extrude thing again because that's going to really add vertices to the top that we don't really need. So, what we're going to do here with this is hover our cursor over here and press Ctrl R. And that will give us the cut. And once again, drag your, your, uh, your cursor to where it's going to actually give us a line going across across our model, the seat of our model, which is what's going to be at this point. Click on that and then drag it up. And that automatically gives us a flatter seat at the top, which is what we're looking for. And from here, we're going to work on the back of our chair. Now we would have to think it up our seat a little bit more because it's kind of the seat's a little bit flat here, but what we're how we're going to do that is we're going to go back to face select, click on that, and turn off our um, proportional editing. Click on that and press disable. And we're going to left click and hold down shift. We're going to click on all these faces here. Control Z to go back and then click on that. And then just pull this up. And that makes this a lot thicker. We're going to go down here and press our uh, line select. In order to select a, a, a uh, more lines at once without having to hold down shift and left click, is that you hold down alt and then you left click. It's supposed to, uh, let me see, let me do that again, left click. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It, when you hold down, uh, you have to be kind of careful when you're in this mode of transparency looking through your model. Just make sure you click on the right line, or you can just turn off the transparency, which is what we should have done. Just click that to turn it off. That way, just click was visible to you in your viewport. Hold down your Alt. Hold down Alt, and then you just uh, left click, and it chooses that whole line of. Uh, the whole line of vertices there, the whole line just in general. And we're going to hold down or uh, left click on our mouse button and click on Z and pull it up just to get our edge back. And there we go. We're going to make the top of our chair. It's not looking too bad. I mean, for someone who's beginning to learn Blender, this is not bad at all. This is just to get you familiar with the interface. And to help you just you know just get used to working in the blender using the modifiers and just help you quickly create something so that it doesn't take you a long time you don't get frustrated trying to create something so what we're going to do now is that we're going to go back to face mode click on the uh, that icon there hold down uh, shift and left click on that part of your model left click there also and we're going to we could extrude this up which is what I'm thinking about doing um, it's taking longer than five minutes because I just want to take my time going through this to help the beginners with uh, understanding the modifiers but let's let's just extrude this straight up press E extrude then E once again when you uh, do a double extrude like that it keeps the base of your mesh flat that way you don't have all these uh, weird looking curves at the base of your mesh I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes but let me let's just extrude this straight up okay extrude this straight up there you go and as you can see we have 
uh, the back of our chair looking kind of strange at the top because of the uh, subdivision uh, surfaces there. But like I mentioned before, in order to fix, I add a loop cut to the base of that, which which is Control R. Control R, and we're going to uh, left click to accept that and just pull that straight up. And we're going to just kind of touch the top of our original uh, line there, just to give it that straight edge. Let's tap out and see how it looks. And it looks it looks pretty good. Now at the base of our, our chair here, the the front of it is kind of uh, too straight, and what we're wanting to do is you know just give it a better physical appearance. So let's tab again, press tab, go into edit mode, and once again face select, and we want to see through uh, through our mesh. So press this icon here, we'll be able to see see through it. And what we're going to do is press, you know, once again, C for circle select. Press C. And just click. And make sure you get all of the of the uh, faces there. Because we have a face on this end. It, it's, you can see there's a face there because there's a little square there. And we have to make sure all that's orange. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to click on, left click on the uh, X axis. And just drag it off to the side. Let's let's turn on our circle, our proportional editing. And let's do that again. Let's drag it off to the side a little bit. That way, when you're looking at it, when you press one, that gives you the you know the uh, front perspective. And we want we don't want all the legs to be just lined up uniform. We want some a little bit of variation to the legs. And, and that's there, but let's make this a variation a little bit more. Let's left click on this again. Hold down your left mouse button and just I mean, scroll up or scroll down to increase your influence with your proportional editing and pull that out just a little bit. Let's tab and let's see how that looks. And that looks that looks pretty good. You know, for uh, someone who's beginning Blender, this uh, having this as your first chair being done using modifiers in Blender, this is not bad at all. And so now we've, we've seen how the chair looks uh, with the legs. And we want some a little bit of variation, I guess, to the back a little bit. I guess just to give it a little bit of, of uh, character to the back. So let's press 3 to go into the side view. We want the back to be somewhat, I guess, somewhat curved. Let's go to the front view. Let's press 1. And tab again it so we can see it from the, uh, the front view. We're going to press Control R because we want to put a loop cut here because we want the back of the chair to have to look comfortable. You know, we don't want it to look like a an electric chair. You know, we want some kind of you know some kind of uh, uh, bow to the back of it. Let's press Control R and once again let's drag our, our cursor up to get our loop cut going up and down, not side to side. Let's let's uh, left click and then left click again. And what we're going to do here. Is that we want just to kind of move the top part of the model and not to affect the bottom part. So we're going to have to go to the vertices and click on that, which are these little dots here. Let's press A to deselect what's been selected and press C again for circle select. And then scroll up on your mouse wheel to reduce our influence and then left click, left click. Okay, let's right, right click to deselect it. And we're going to pull back on our Y axis and keep our proportion other than on to give us some, some curve to our chair. Let's do that. And yeah, you can see that it is curving. Oh, let's let's uh, redo that because if we want to get this part too. So let's press C again and left click, left click. Okay. And actually, well, let's deselect this also because we don't need to have that selected since we have proportional editing on. Let's press C. And now to deselect with the uh, circle select, what you do is when you hover over a selection with your uh, circle selection on, you you, uh, you click with your middle mouse button and that deselects it. So just for your own notes, with circle select C, to select a vertice or a line, specifically vertices, 
you left click left click to deselect it you mouse click middle mouse uh, click middle mouse click that deselects it that's just for your own notes and now with our uh, proportional editing on let's uh, pull back on the y-axis and we're going to hold down our left mouse button and just pull back and that gives us that curve that we're, we're wanting to have in the back of the chair and let's see how that looks see that looks a lot more a lot more comfortable if you were to, to sit in this seat you would feel like you're actually sitting in a seat you know a seat that you can sit in to have dinner in and that looks look that looks pretty good I, I think I, I like that I like the, the way it curves at the back that looks nice and now to finish it off finish off the chair what we're going to do is let's try to add some cushions to the chair let's add some cushions to the the seats of the chair and to the back possibly so what we're going to do is press tab okay and we're going to turn off the uh, transparency uh, of the model by clicking on that icon and we're going to turn off the portrait editing by clicking on that and press disabled and we're going to turn on our face our face select click on that once again we're going to hold down shift on our keyboard <clears throat> excuse me and then left click left click and I guess we can get this part to left click on that too and remember let's click the front to you let's hold down shift left click left click left click and we're going to extrude twice to act so we can have a clean base to our model here so E enter E enter and then pull up hold down left mouse button over the z-axis and pull that straight up and in order to get that cushion look let's let's scale it in in order to scale in we keep all this selected and then we're going to press S and just drag our mouse in drag it in okay and let's press uh, hold down our left mouse button of the wax and pull it back a little bit let's tab out that and see how that looks and we have a little cushion here see this is not bad at all we have something going on back here but let's see if we can fix that by adding another cushion to the back of our chair so let's press tab again and left click hold down your shift left click left click and we're going to press E again. Remember, press E twice to get that clean, clean, clean lines underneath your mesh. Press E again, and then scale in. Okay. And then we're going to hover our mouse over the y-axis and hold down our left mouse button and pull this out. And I think I like this. This is this is not bad for once again for a first time model that you've done in blender this is not bad at all I mean this looks pretty good once again you have some little artifacts that we can pretty much clean this up let's before we end this tutorial or this yeah this tutorial for beginners when, when it comes to making the, just a quick chair what we can do to clean this up let me let's go into tab let's go into tab and let's try to add a loop cut to the back of this maybe that will help clean up our model a little bit a little bit and what we're going to do is press down let's press uh, control R let's see what we come up with okay that gives us that loop cuts along uh, those vertices click down and let's drag this back okay this isn't bad this isn't bad at all and let's press tab again and it gives us a pretty a pretty nice back okay that's not bad at all okay and what we can do again in order to make this look a little bit better a little bit cleaner of a model let's let's increase the the uh, subsurf I think for the final render it's the subsurf is two but the viewport is one that's that's to help us navigate a lot better on the screen that uh, decreases the lag because the more vertices you have in your user interface, the longer it's going to take when it comes to moving around. Um, it will cause your, your user, user interface to lag. But let's let's increase the viewport uh, view and let's see how that looks. Okay, see, now that looks way, way better. 
so yeah this isn't bad for a first time uh, when it comes to modeling a chair in blender okay a dining room chair so yeah this is going to be something that you know we'll keep doing for beginners blender quickies for beginners you know, modeling things like chairs and tables furniture plants you know human faces whatever we need to do to get familiar with blender I think this is a good start so yeah so um, this is uh, Tola from uh, Trifle Productions and this is once again blender quickies for beginners the show beginners people who are just learning blender even through the animation general how to use blender efficiently and quickly how to get up and running in blender without having to go through a lot of tedious courses and so on and so forth but this is just something quick that you can use just you know you get yourself started in blender so yeah this is uh Tola from travel productions and i hope with this series this will help people out there who don't want to go through the frustration of learning through the animation you just want something quick you can you know jump right into and learn quickly and uh, once again, we're going to you know, keep this series going just to help people out there. And I uh, hope this was helpful to someone. And I'm glad it, it uh, turned out the way it did because this is just something I didn't expect to do. Just kind of did it, you know, spur of the moment. I just came to mind to help people out there to learn through the animation a lot faster. But yeah, this is Tola from Travel Productions with another Blender Quickie, the first Blender Quickie for beginners. And uh, you guys have a great night, have a great evening, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, adios.